Right, what's happening guys? So some of you might be sat there asking yourselves what the bloody hell's going on? From signing 30 players across two transfer windows to not bringing in a single one while clubs up and down the country continue to strengthen their squads. But believe me when I say this, there's a method to the madness of going from 100 to zero. First and foremost, trying to stay up after losing key players from a successful championship campaign, many of which were low knees, meant that both quality as well as depth were paramount to preserve Forrest's Premier League status. And now much of the focus has rightly shifted towards working with what he's got for Steve Cooper, which is a sensible approach given there's room for improvement both at an individual as well as collective level now that everyone's well settled. Secondly, FFP considerations. As per The Athletic, Forrest will be permitted losses of 83 million quid by the end of the coming season, and in order to bring players in while not breaking any rules means that key personnel like Brennan Johnson may have to be sold. While it'll obviously be a bitter blow to be losing an academy product, any income generated from his departure will represent a pure profit, which is significant when it comes to FFP calculations. In my eyes, it's a bit of a piss take really when you've got the likes of Man City and PSG doing whatever the fuck they want while the rest of the world have their hands tied behind their backs. But money talks, especially when it's being exchanged under the table in brown envelopes. Allegedly, of course. Thirdly, the fact that there's only 25 places up for grabs. While six players have departed the club, a couple of them in Dean Henderson and Renan Lodi are expected to return, while Johnson, Danilo and Neko Williams are all over the age of 21 now, and thus have to be registered unlike last year. With this in mind, Maranakis is almost forced to sell before he can buy, unless he's willing to pay wages to players who won't be playing a single minute of football moving forward, which would be a shitty situation for all parties concerned. Fourthly, is that even a fucking word, by the way? I very rarely go beyond three. There's actually been a lot of activity going on at Forest behind closed doors. From Ross Wilson taking on responsibility for the chief football officer role and Gary Brazil ending his decade-long association with the club's academy to Adidas becoming the new kit supplier, there now appears to be a clear sense of direction in order to take things to the very next level, which you would imagine is a top-half finish before a push towards European spots in the years to come. Now, with all this being said, there's still no doubt in my mind that Forrest will bring in five or six players in due course. And personally speaking, I'm liking this approach of ensuring everything is in order off the pitch before making moves which could alter how things will be on it. As always, please do let me know your own thoughts down below, whether or not you disagree or agree with my assessment, and I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Peace.